I am Jane Tracy with the Orange County Library System and we are here at the VA Medical Center in Orlando, Florida speaking with World War II veterans and their families about their memories and the meaning of Memorial Day. It is May 26th, 2010. Would you please tell us your name and where you are from? I'm Patricia Broderick, the wife of John Broderick, who served in the 82nd Airborne during World War II. And, and we're from Pennsylvania, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're from Pennsylvania. And were you born and raised in Pennsylvania? Yes, born and raised in Pennsylvania, both of us. And how long have you lived in Central Florida? Uh, since the 50s, 57. How many years that is? <laughs> Do you recall your earliest memory of the area? Uh, yes, uh, you were able to drive without... Um, without so much fear, with uh, without cars coming from every direction, and without horns blowing in your ear every five minutes. <laughs> so um, you're, you're here at the VA Medical Center visiting your husband, and your husband is a World War II veteran, right? Yes. And, and your husband's name is? John, John J. Brown. And what was his service in World War II? He was a, uh, a member of the 82nd Airborne Paratroopers, uh, the 504 Division, out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And um, do you remember where you were when the war began? Well, when I... It was a Sunday, and yes, I do remember where I was because um, I was still in high school. Um, my brother was home from the service for the weekend, and he had several boys with him. And I remember they all slept on the living room floor. This was in Monterey City, Pennsylvania. And when the news broke of the war, those boys never moved so fast in all their lives because they had to report back to their base immediately, if not soon. And I remember that was Sunday, December the 7th, 1941. Would you tell us um, a little bit about your experience in this country during wartime? Is it one of the chairs? Do you remember, um, were there rations in your area or? Yes, there were rations, but we were from, I was from a large family, five girls and one boy. However, my husband was just a, a one-child family, and um, so there was always plenty of ration stands. In fact, we have some of them at home. Excuse me, that was laughing. Um, however, uh, there was always enough stamps uh, and food stamps, not food stamps, but uh, ration stamps in order to uh, my mother to be able to shop to feed the family. And, and how uh, did the war affect your life? Uh, actually, I wasn't, I wasn't old enough to be um, going to war, but my sisters all worked in defense plants, like Exide Battery. They did something for the war effort. My sister was on a poster for my bonds, and uh, my other sisters, both sisters, were uh, seniors in high school at that time, and they all took tests and went to Washington, D.C. to be uh, uh, secretaries and, and so on for the war effort. And my brother was already in the service. And where Jack was at that time, I don't know. Yes, I do know. Yes, I do. He was in uh, college after he graduated in 1940, and he was going to be a doctor in medical school. And um, I think he was in his second year of medical school when the war broke out. And he enlisted. He went running home to Pottsville, Pennsylvania, to his mother to tell him he wasn't going to be wait to be drafted. He was going to enlist. And when his mother found out that he was enlisting to go into the paratroopers, she ran him around the dining room table and followed him all the way to the post office, but he got to mail it before she got on the post. That's how he got in there. And you've brought uh, a picture 
of him? Yes. Is that, is um, that right? I, I would like to share this picture with you because I thought I was always very proud of it. This is the um, 504 um, division out of Fort Bragg. And it's taken from 1942 because that's when he finished his um, uh, his training, and um, and he's right here. But this picture was taken after they finished their training and ready for combat. That's the 504 Division of the 82nd Airborne. This just happens to be a poem that his mother wrote, and it's called the Paratrooper's Prayer. Very appropriate. Um, but she wrote that in 1942 when he was in the service and just from listening to the newscast, and she'd put her own two cents in there and how she prayed for all the paratroopers. Uh, this he was always very proud of. There's a little story here on the bottom of it where one um, soldier said to another, if you want to be safe, buddy, you can follow me because I'm the 82nd Airborne, and this is far as they go. Uh, this happens to be his hat that he can't live without, um, and it does have his, world, his uh, um Purple Heart on there because he was injured in the Battle of the Bulge. He never did get to Bastogne, although he does have a memorabilia here from Bastogne. So uh, this Airborne Review, is, is this uh, also this, from this, World War II? This is, yes, from World War II, and his mother sent it to him. You can read it in the back here where it says, Happy Birthday, uh, and that was his 25th birthday in 1946. And this, however, is um, um, it's an Airborne Review, and what it is is all their training and everything that they, they go through before they even let them up there in the air. And, and this is a commemorative calendar? This is a commemorative calendar from Lake County. We retired in Lake County, um, and this was put out in 1945, um, but it was issued in 1995. Again, it's all the pictures of the um, uh, Lake County and, and um, all, everything from World War II including, I won't bore you with everything, but this is a good picture, too, of Iwo Jima. And then all the World War II veterans that uh, that served, those are all people from Lake County. We don't know all of them. <laughs> um, and the other thing that he really prizes, and that's his airborne book. He's, he's loaned it to so many people that we had to put our own binding on there to keep it together. No, his grandpa William did not run. Do you see that? Well, thank you very much for sharing these World War II memorabilia with us today.